Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I welcome you all in this lecture. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, role of uh, Kappa statistics, why it is important, because uh, Kappa statistics actually deals with the uh, uh, reliability and the variation. I mean to say the variation observ uh, observed by the two independent uh, clinicians, or the lab reports. So in order to deal with that stuff, uh, scientists have used a kappa statistics variation so if you look at the chart over here a patient like thing is being observed by two independent clinicians and their findings are uh, being described from a statistical point of view over here now uh, if we look at the kappa statistics the basic understanding we should do over here is to understand that let's say there are two uh, doctors and the one doctor is uh, trying to declare that there are a certain number of people who are declared as true positive and then there are two negatives which are present over here so for an observed agreement in order to calculate that observed agreement we generally use a plus d so the true positives plus two negatives divided by the number of observations now the number of observations in this table are a b and C and D. So this is basically true, uh, giving us the observed agreement present among the two uh, clinicians or two doctors. Now that there's uh, selection criteria for identifying a true positive COVID-19 patient may vary. This uh, young lady may ascribe that a certain number of whistling sound or any uh, whistle is an indicator of COVID-19 while the guy may be dependent more on the lab reports rather than the clinician findings. So in order to agree, uh, observe their agreement we decide that the true positive plus two negatives which are being agreed upon by the both clinicians will be divided by the number of observations they have observed in the particular hospital or award setting. This is the observed agreement calculation. But generally speaking, most of the time, the, uh, this agreement may not be more towards the identification of a patient rather than it's more like an exoneration of all those uh, what individuals which stands negative. So in order to avoid this anomaly because in that case we will be focusing on explicitly on all the identification of positive patients rather than the true negatives then in this case the equation would be somewhat turned as a true positive consensus made by the girl and boy doctors divided by a plus b and c so we are totally ignoring the exonerated or disease-free individuals in this uh, group so this is the observed agreement. Now comes a uh, kappa agreement question. Now if we focus on the kappa agreement in, in question, the story is pretty uh, straightforward and simple as well. The agreement observed as we have calculated it uh, earlier and then it is being subtracted by the percentage agreement expected by chance. I mean to say that there is a degree of uh, agreement made expectedly by totally by chance by these two independent labs it should be subtracted divided by the total agreement that is 100 percent minus expected agreement by chance is going to give us a kappa agreement value now generally speaking kappa agreement values range from 0.75 so the values which are exceeding 0.75 to 1 which says a perfect agreement so over here one stands for perfect agreement among the two clinicians or observations made by the two independent labs and zero means there is no agreement present the two labs are making uh, no agreement or what you can say uh, zero means uh, no agreement uh, so we can say just no agreement uh, just make life easy no agreement one is the perfect agreement. So for kappa agreement values, the value if is greater than 0.75, we say excellent agreement, both are happy. And if the agreement range from 0.75 to 0.40, this is good to sort of intermediate uh, consensus observed. And then the value less than 0.5 is scarless. less. There is a strong disagreement is present between the two labs. So this is how we are going to uh, gauge our agreement 
basis over here. Now let's explain it with a very good example over here. The two labs, let's say this is a smoky lab and there is an emoji expressing happy face. Now both these labs are performed a screening of COVID-19 infection for 75 individuals. So the total number of individuals are 75. Let me write somewhere over here. 75. Okay, so the total number of individuals are 75. Let me change the color so that it could be more what you can say habitable for us. So 75 is the number of individuals present. Then the smoky lab identified how many patients positive for smoky lab identifies that there are total number of 45 patients which are positive 41 consensus for they're also declared by the smoky lab as COVID-19 positive individuals and over here the negative identified by the smoky lab are 30 so on a percentage level so on the person uh, so let's say 45 individuals out of 75 are declared as positive by the smoky lab so they say this is like 45 uh, divided by 60 is going to give us a value which is called as 60 percent so the 60 percent of 75 number of individuals are identified always by smoky lab as positive 30 individuals are declared negative so it's not 45 percent Okay, don't get confused, just go with me, go with the flow, you will be easy and it is a pretty straightforward essay. So Smoky Lab identified 40 individu 45 individuals positive for COVID-19, 34 negative. And on percentage values, we have just written as uh, that 45 into, let me write it over here for a brief ace. So 45 into 75 divided by 100 is going, um, going to give us this percentage value so let me erase it as well so that we can get uh, the good results over here as well all right so this is the percentage of observations made by the smoky lab now for a happy emoji the value is uh, slightly different and we don't need to write it over here for extending our uh, just maximum calculations but based on what we have learned so far if we want to know the observed agreement so our observed agreement is pretty straightforward which says that a plus d is equal to what so over here this is a value and this is b uh, d value so 41 plus 27 now the both the labs identified like a sort of consensus in this green and red area and then we divided with the total number of individuals this is 75 so the observed agreement would be calculated as and this observed agreement is uh, right now it, it is calculated by the calculation is 90.7 all right so 90.7 is the observed agreement to in order to calculate the expected uh, agreement by chance expected agreement is now the issue because we want to fill one equation which says observed agreement minus expected agreement divided by 100% which is the total agreement made by smoky and emoji in just in case divided minus e and so we want to know how much the two lab reports are in agreement to each other now this agreement could be uh, calculated first by observed agreement 4127 summation divided now for expected agreement we have to uh, make another chart which let, let's let us make a small table over here let us make a small table and the idea of making this table is pretty straightforward and we want to calculate we want to calculate the percentage overlap happening over here so if we say that the number of individuals identified by smoky lab are 45 but this emoji this happy emoji lab identifies how many individuals 41 plus 3 so a total of let me change the color now we are talking about the other lab so let's change the color slightly so that we can get a good understanding so let me change the color into black if it's more evitable so for oh, well, it's not appealing as such so let's change it to a bit further to let's say um, green color so let's say 
the total number of individuals identified by happy emoji positive for COVID-19 are 44. This lab says positive individuals 44. So according to our data, Smokey Lab is able to identify 60%, 60% of positive individuals. So 60% of 44 individuals are also already been identified by 60%. Now this 60% comes from Smokey Lab's working efficiency that they are able to identify 60% positive COVID-19 and from 44 the 60% value would be calculated. So the value is pretty straightforwardly calculated as 26.4%. Now this is that value of 44 individuals identified by happy face as COVID-19, 60% value is being multiplied so that we can calculate that what proportion of this individuals can possibly be identified by the other lab. And uh, in order to calculate the other uh, lower half bottom, we can say that among this 60%, again the 60%, of 60% of uh, the, these individuals. How many individuals which are declared negative by the happy face? 4 plus 27 is equal to 31. So the 31 individuals are declared COVID negative by this happy face lab. How 31 comes from? 4 plus 27. So 60% of the negative individuals, negative individuals classified by the lab happy will also be in agreement to the smoky face. So the value would be so the value would be is equal to 60% of 31 is equal to 18.6%. And if we go to the other half, to the other column, we are talking about what? We are talking about that the 44% patients declared as positive by the, the happy face will also be termed negative, will also be termed negative, how much? 40%. The 40% come, this value comes from here, 40%. And the value would sustain as, the value would sustain as 17.5%. Similarly, the last agreement would be the 31 among the 31 negatively declared individuals by the happy face lab the proportion would be how many proportions would be called as 40 percent value will be identified as negative so there is a consensus that out of all 31 negative individuals smoky lab findings would be 40 percent accurately identified in this area. So the value would be 12.4. So uh, if, if you can uh, focus on these values, once these values are retrieved, the expected agreement by chance that this smoky and happy face labs are able to identify something is pretty straightforward. So what we are going to do, again, A plus D, 26.4 that's 26.4 value plus 12.4 divided by the number of uh, and to number of total participants or observations now here the number of total observations are 75 so 75 divided by 75 and the value would be 51.7 percent now 51.7% is the expected agreement we have we need to calculate this value and it has been now calculated so for kappa statistics 90.7 minus 51.7% expected agreement by chance observed agreement divided by 1 minus expected value is 51.7% so the value we are observing in this calculation would be around 0.8 so this value will be, uh, so we can write over here is 100% agreement between the two labs findings and the whole calculation says 
0.8%. So as 0.8% indicates that there is a perfect agreement, there is a perfect agreement, there is a perfect agreement among these two observations made. So the kappa statistics value says that the value of kappa is 0 0.8 and the agreement between smoky lab and emoji lab are uh, is in consensus so the agreement is quite strong both the labs have an efficient uh, selection criteria whatever that may be maybe this lab is more dependent on x-rays and this lab is more dependent on PCR findings but whatever the findings are the working efficiency and the result output is in agreement so both these things are working um, uh, in consensus to each other thank you very much for your time and valued attention keep watching my videos